Is your Linux still ugly? Are you still using your mouse to move around like a boomer? Well, don't worry anymore, because today I'll be showing you how to install a Tiling Window Manager, specifically BSPWM, as requested by a subscriber of mine. I'll show you how to install it, configure it, and customize it. I won't be going through every single setting and configuration in this video, which otherwise will be an hour long, but I'll show you where to find things, and then you can customize it on your own to your own liking. So let's get started. So we've got a fresh install here of Arch Linux running KDE Plasma. And I mean, look at this. It's too bright, it's too colorful, this window is floating. I mean, we don't want that. So let's start changing things. So first thing first, let's start by downloading some packages. So we're gonna need, obviously, BSPWM. We're gonna need SXHKD for our keybinds. RxVT Unicode for our terminal. Peh for the wallpaper. Pycom is gonna be a compositor. Polybar is gonna be our status bar. And MPD is nice because we can use it to show what kind of music you're playing or what kind of song you're playing and you're status about. So we're gonna need that. Download these, say yes. And that's done. Now we have everything installed, but we have no configs. So in order to configure them, the first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, create the config directories for each one of these programs. So make sure that you are in your home directory and type in mkdir.config and then the name of the directory. The first one we're gonna make is bspwm. And then I'm going to make one for SXHKD, one for PyCom, and one for Polybar. All right, now that we've created the configuration directories, the nice thing about these programs, most of them come with a default configuration. You just have to copy it from the installation directory to the configuration directory. So to do that, I'm in CP for copy. I'm going to go to user, share, doc, bspwm, example, I'm going to copy bspwmrc and I'm going to put this into .config bspwm. Place it in there. Next, we're going to need to copy the default keybinds. So to do that, we're going to go to the same directory, except this time I'm going to copy the sxhkdrc. I'm going to put this into sxhkd. Press enter. The next thing we're going to need to copy is a pycom config. This one is going to be a different location. So type in cp for copy again. Go to Etsy, xdg, pycom.conf, and I'm going to put this into the config, pycom, press enter, nice and done. Now that we copied the default configuration, we should be able to boot into it, and it should be in a usable state. So, let's actually give that a try. So I'm going to log out of this instance, and on the login screen, you should be able to see an option for bsbwm. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to put in my password, and now you might be confused a bit as why there is a black screen and you might be wondering is there something broken, but no. BSPWM by default comes with a very, very minimal config. It doesn't have a wallpaper, it doesn't have a status bar, it barely has anything. So we're going to have to do a little bit of legwork to get all these uh, configured and installed. But since we copy the keybinds and the SXHKDRC, we should be able to use the default keybind. So if you press super enter, it's going to open the terminal. One thing that might be off in here is a resolution. So to change the resolution is quite simple. Type an X for render and then press enter. It will show you your monitors. For example, mine shows virtual one because it's on a virtual machine. And to change the resolution, type an X render again, slash slash output, select the monitor, mine's gonna be virtual one, and then slash slash mode, and then select the resolution that you wanna play. So I'm gonna select 1920 by 1080, press enter, and now we have a correct resolution. So now also, as you can see, if I open multiple terminals, it will tile up. We do have a correct town window config running. And to close them, press super shift W and close them one by one. I'm not gonna go change the default keybinds because I'm not only using this for a virtual machine, but if you wanna change the keybinds yourself, you need to go to .config, sxhkd, sxhkdrc, open that. And inside of here, you're gonna see all the default keybinds right here. And it's quite simple to change the first button plus the second button and then the application. So super plus enter will open the URI XPT terminal. And for example, I want to change this to be super plus space. And let's say for example, I want to open Firefox. Save and exit. So if I press super alt Q, it will reload. And if I put my password again, I should be able to press super space and should be able to open Firefox right there. But you can see here the resolution is messed up again. Now to keep the resolution consistent, or to keep anything consistent, you have to go to the .config, bspwm, and the bspwmrc, and here you can put any command that you want it to be launched, 
when the window manager launches. So for example, I want my resolution to be correct every time the window manager starts. So I'm going to type in the command in here. So x render slash slash output virtual one slash slash mode 1920 by 1080. Save and exit. All right, now I'm going to try to make this thing look prettier because as you can see, it looks really terrible, especially with the terminal. So first thing first, I'm going to start with the terminal. A really good idea when you're starting out is to start with somebody else's theme and then you slowly start to customize it to your own liking because when you start you don't know any of the commands, you don't know any of the, of the configs and you, have, you don't really have a good general idea how to configure it yourself. So you can start the easy way by using someone else's configs and then slowly modify it more and more until you are actually very familiar with the configuration files. So for example, if you go to this uh, GitHub repo, they have a lot of different terminal themes and they are super easy to install. You can just come here, check which one you like. So for example, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to click on raw, copy all this. And, and we're going to put that into a file in our home directory named X resources. So open the file up, paste in the config, save and exit. And to reload it, type in xrdp.x resources. Let's enter to reload. Now, if I reset the terminal, and you can see it looks completely different and looks a lot better than the default discussed in URXVT config. So now we got all the terminal looking pretty. We are still missing a status bar. A very similar story here. So if we come to this user's repo right here, I'm going to have the links in the description, of course. You can see that there's a lot of pre configured status bars, and then you can pick and choose the one you like and use it on your system. So to use this guy's themes is quite easy and simple. This guy already has a script to have everything automated. So I'm going to clone his repo, but then git clone, put in the URL, clone that, and then I'm going to go inside his repo. And one thing you have to make sure before you start installing, make sure that you have MPD already running. So what MPD does is going to start listening and it's going to see what audio you're playing, what song you're playing, what video you're watching. And this uh, polybar status bar will be able to read from MPD and will display on status bar what song you're playing. So now that we got this running, we can just simply start by setting up the setup as SH. I'm going to choose simple. And it's already installed. So to use any of these guys themes, tab in bash, dot config, polybar, launch your SH, and then you can tab in slash slash theme. It will show you all the available themes. For example, if I want to use blocks, I already got a type is slash slash blocks. And it will launch it for me. So now that we got a beautiful status bar, but if you go back to our home screen, you're gonna see there is no wallpaper. So to install a wallpaper, it's quite simple. Just get any wallpaper that you like. Download that. I'm gonna have this in my downloads folder. All right now to display this wallpaper, go to the terminal, type in fe slash slash bg slash fill, and then the location of the wallpaper mine is gonna be downloads and it's gonna be this wallpaper. Press enter, and now if I exit the terminal, now you can see that we have a beautiful wallpaper. All right, so now that we've got everything nice and clean, we got a status bar, we got a nice wallpaper, we got a beautiful terminal, and we got a beautiful tiling window manager. We still have one problem though, so if I restart and log in again, you, you will see almost everything is gone, except for our terminal. We have no wallpaper, we have no status bar, we have nothing. That's because these programs don't auto status by themselves, we have to tell them to auto start when the window manager starts up. So to do that is actually quite simple. Just like how we set our resolution, we're going to edit one file in .config, bspwm, bspwmrc, and in here, we're going to put the programs that you want to start when the window manager starts up. For example, you want the status bar to start up when the window manager starts up. So I can type in bash .config polybar launch.sh then the theme for your status bar. I'm gonna use blocks and then we're gonna put the command to display a wallpaper so that's gonna be fe slash slash bg slash fill and then the location and I don't actually remember the name so I'm gonna to have to go to downloads and then list the name 9542.jpg and lastly I want the compositor to start when the system starts up so I'm gonna type in pycom and then I'm going to put the and sign. Nice and sweet. Save and exit. Now if we restart. 
we can see everything now sets up the way you expect it to set up. Not only that, but we also now have animations. Now they're a little slow, but you can change that if you want. It's quite simple to change the animations and the compositor settings in general. So type in Vim. I'm gonna go to .config, pycom, and then pycom.conf, open that, and then you're gonna here see all the settings that you may want to change. You can see, for example, you get settings for shadows, settings for blur, animations, and all that sweet, sweet stuff. It's kind of hard to read because this is weird font for this terminal, but you can change it later. It's not a big deal. I mean, actually, I can show you how to change the font. You just go to X resources because that's going to be the terminal config file. And then, um, where is the font? Oh, it's right there. I'll go to just delete this line, save and exit, reload the file, xrdb.x resources. I'm going to reload the terminal. All right now we have a default font. Now we can actually read things. So I'm going to go back to config to back on the conf. Now you can actually read a lot better. It's really nice because it gives you an explanation of most what these things do. For example, this is the opacity of, of a inactive window. So then you can ch choose the opacity that you want. Or for example, if you want to have vSync on, so all the animations will play smooth. So you know, you can come here and configure all the things that you want and all the settings you want. I'm not going to do that because otherwise the video will be too long. And yeah, so that's about it. Now we got a talent window manager installed, we got a status bar, we got a terminal themed, and everything is looking nice and clean. Now you can go ahead and play with these config files. You probably want to change the keybounds, play around with the fonts, play around with the color scheme, change the compositor settings, and you know, you can just take your time and you know configure it the way you want it, and that's the way it should be. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you enjoy watching, then be sure to subscribe. And if there is anything that you want to see in the future videos, then please leave a comment. I'm gonna peace out. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you.